Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the working of MOS plagiarism detector. So MOS as you know is a me measure of software similarity. Uh, so it's used for checking plagiarism in codes to check if there's any similarity between two pieces of codes. So if you want to use MOS for yourself, what you can do is you can register and for registering you can send a mail to this mail ID in this format which I did and afterwards you receive a a script which you can copy and then you can use MOS on your personal computer. So I'll be showing you the working of MOS. So what I have done is I've opened up the submissions of uh, this problem coronavirus pet which was uh, in May challenge 2020. So this is just to show the this is just to show the working of MOS. I'm not going to actually report anyone or anything. This is just to show the working. So I've copied this code and what I've done is in the folder plague I have this script which I copied from the mail and this is the solution which I just copied from the recent submissions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another document and in this document I'm just going to copy the same code. So this is exactly the same code and let's just copy it here and here I'll call it 2.java. So this is 2.java and 1.java and 2.java are basically the same thing i don't need this anymore i can just delete this 1.java and 2.java are the same and this is mos script so what i can do is i can open the perl command line so i've installed perl so i'll just open the perl command line and the folder is in the desktop so i'll go to the desktop so cd dot dot and to change directory to desktop i'll just yeah, and then in the desktop it is in the folder plague and here I have Perl which I'm using mos.pl which is my script and minus L then minus L then Java which is the language I'm using then 1.java which is the file and 2.java so 1.java and 2.java are the codes I'm going to check so what happens is it uploads the code to the server and you can see and the URL or the link is there in the website. So I can just copy it and pasting it in any web browser will give the result. So you can see that 98% match is there and all the lines from 1 to 46 except for the last which is just uh, the basis. So all the lines match in both of the files and that is obvious because I just copied the two quotes. The two quotes were exactly similar, exactly matching. Now what we'll do is we'll try to change the variables or we'll try to make some similar uh, minor changes in this code like changing the variables. So instead of N I'll just say M, instead of A I'll just say C and D. So we'll just see if this has an effect on plagiarism checking or not because a lot of people submit codes by just changing the variables thinking that it, it's going to have some effect so and let's change i to j here j plus plus and then let's just check this again so i just made i just changed the variable names so let's check it again so perl mos.pl minus l java point dot java two dot java So again, let's check if uh, there's any difference or not. So we'll just copy this again. And yeah, you can see that there's still 98% change. So even when we change C and D, it is still showing that lines from 1, for 1 to 46 are exactly matching. So this shows that Changing the variable names has no effect at all in MOS plagiarism detection. So let's just try to uh, do some other change. Let's just try to add something useless here. So I'll just say in j is equal to 0, j less than 100, and j plus plus, and do nothing. So I just added a, a while loop which has no purpose. So I'll see that if this has any effect or not. So the same thing. Perl mouse.pl minus l java and java 
don't jump. So, so just copy this. And you can see that this has till it doesn't have that effect because still it shows that lines 1 to 21, 22 to 46 are matching and it is still above 90%. So still we weren't able to, still the code wasn't able to get out of MOS because still it would be caught. So even if a lot of useless functions are added, what is similar will be cached even if there's no indentation like uh, if we try to do something with indentation even so you can see that there's no indentation so we'll just add some space and we'll just add this here and we'll add this like this and let's just do the same thing let's see if this has effect or not minus l java one dot java two dot java Okay. So we made some more changes this time with some spacing. So you can see that spacing has no effect at all in the percentage. So if there's any similarity at all, even in some function or some few lines of code, it will be caught by mouse. So what happens if we to take two totally different codes? So let's take this code also and these two codes will be different I, I suppose, I presume. So now this I'll copy into 2.java. So 1.java was some other guy's code and this is some other code. So now 1.java and 2.java are two different submissions for the same problem. So now I'll do the same thing again. Perl mos.pl minus l java. 1.java and 2.java So finally we'll be checking what happens if two different codes which I suppose are different are taken. So what happens if we take two different codes? So the same thing And you can see that the code matching is 87 to 76%. So there may be some similarity because, well, obviously it is the same. Wow, oh, I was not expecting this. But anyways, uh, did I take them from the same guy? No, they're from the different guys. Or let's just take some other guy's example. So, wait, this is from the same guy. So we'll just take uh, some before, we'll take this guy's code. And I'll copy this into 2.java. And save it. So now, 1.java and 2.java are a little different. There will be some similarity because they're from the same problem, obviously. So now I'll do the same thing again. Perl mos dot pl minus l and java one dot java two dot java. So I'll just copy this and I'll just see. For these two submissions. Okay, I think I copied the same code again. So this I've copied from uh, this, which is from KTK. No. Okay. So I'll do that again. So I copied the uh, code from KTK and I copied the code from this guy.
okay these codes don't look similar so there's a lot of similarity in the codes i don't know why so this guy's code went into two this guy is varun mandada two and this guy's code ktk will go into one So you can see that there's no similarity in these two codes. So if we type this mal pearl of dot pl minus l one dot java two dot java. I didn't type java. Mal of dot pl minus l one dot java two dot java. Again, <laughs> so. Pearl of dot pl minus l java one dot java and two dot java. So this is the result. So I just copied it and yeah, here we go. So these no matches were found in these submissions. Well, they were totally different. But the ones we chose earlier had some similarities, but anyways, uh, it will get caught in the MOS that Coachif has, so no need to worry about that. But basically, this is how MOS works and is implemented by various websites such as Coachif and Coachverse, etc.